What's up you guys, welcome back. Today I am super excited because we're gonna be doing an old school Dollar Tree haul. I go to Dollar Tree all the time, but it's been a while since I've done like a Dollar Tree haul on my channel. And I don't know if it was because today is Sunday or it's like kind of towards the beginning of the month, but I feel like I hit the jackpot. They were stocked and they had so many good beauty things today, which is interesting. Like I buy a whole bunch of stuff at Dollar Tree all the time. And you guys know I have done like full faces of testing Dollar Tree makeup before and stuff like that. Like they always have beauty products, but today there was a lot of new ones I've never seen before. And just like so much stuff that intrigued me. And I also got some stuff for like my house, lifestyle, stuff like that too. But yeah, it was a really good day. So if you're gonna do a haul and show you guys everything that I got. Now, my Dollar Tree has started to get products in that are more than a dollar. So like there's some sections of the store that'll have like products that are like $3, $5, whatever. But everything I got was just $1.25. So I didn't get any of like the higher priced items yet. Let me know if you guys have like gotten things that are like three, five dollars at Dollar Tree and like if you've liked them. They did have some cute stuff, but I just stuck to what I knew today. I'm like, if I wanted something for five dollars, I'd go to five below. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just me. But regardless, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You know what I just realized? Zach went to Dollar Tree to get a card. That's one thing I always like to get at Dollar Tree because like you go to the Hallmark store and send ten dollars on a card where they're a dollar at Dollar Tree and I didn't even get the card. So I'm gonna have to go back to that, but it's okay. All right, first things first, um, these are right in the front of the store. I thought this was really, really cute. They're like these heart-shaped beauty sponges for Valentine's Day. They had a ton of Valentine's Day stuff. They were still putting some of it out though, so it wasn't all fully out yet, which I'm like, wow, I feel like Christmas just passed. But we're already out with the Valentine's Day things, but these I thought were really cute. A little three pack of heart sponges. This is what they look like, and they actually feel quite soft. Like I think these will actually be Really nice. Dollar Tree has stepped up their sponge game. They used to be like little rocks, like back in the day when I would get them, but now their sponges are actually pretty good and they're not super hard anymore. Okay, up next, I always get Ioni lashes. When I go to Dollar Tree, they look like this. Honestly, these look like, you know, mink lashes. That would be like $10 or even more than that. And they're $1.25. Ioni is the brand, it's I-O-N-A. They're the 3D faux mink. Um, these are the wispy long flares. So I grabbed these, they're nice. And you can reuse these too. Like they don't just last like for one time. And they did have a lash glue liner as well for my Oni. So I grabbed that. I love like lash glue liners in one, just makes it so much easier to pop your lashes on and keep it moving. So got that. Okay, this is like a home item, but I saw these, they're candlesticks and they have like swirls on them. Like I thought they were really pretty. They had them in a couple different colors. They had white, they had tan. I wanna say they had like a blue one and maybe purple. So there were some different options. I just went for like the boring white ones because that's what would go best in my house, honestly. But I was like, okay, I don't really have like candlestick holders to put these in. So then I looked for candlestick holders and they had these and I was like, oh, these are so pretty. Like this is definitely something that I would buy at like home goods at home, Hobby Lobby, like these gold little candlestick holders. I got one smaller one and one taller one to kind of do like stagger them and then put the candlesticks in either way. I thought that, that would look really pretty. So cute little easy decor for your home. Cause if I was to buy this at home goods, it would be like probably $20 for these three things where it was, you know, a little over three bucks. So love that. Okay, up next, I was so excited about this. They had furry claw clips. They actually had these in a couple different colors. I just got the pink one. Let me take it out of here, out of the packaging to show you guys. But this is what it looks like. It's just like your typical claw clip. I like to like put my hair back up, you know, a lot of times with one of these. And I thought the little furry was so cute like for the winter. I thought it was adorable and I loved like the kind of light pink shade. So like I said, they did have a couple different colors in this, but loved that. They had a lot of like good like hair accessories, like a bunch of scrunchies, headbands, hair ties, all like big selection of that. I always look at their stuff like barrettes, um, when I go there, they have a lot of cute things and it's a lot more affordable than if you were to buy it at like a CVS Ulta, something like that, but it's like just as cute. So yeah, I was really happy about this. Okay, up next, I was shook when I saw this, but it is a L'Oreal liquid lipstick. These are like newer from L'Oreal. Like they came out not that long ago. They are their lip color rouge and this one is in the shade Radiate. It's like a very pretty orange. This is honestly a color that I will likely get more use out of in like the spring and summer. I love wearing like bright oranges like this. I'll swatch it on my hands so you guys can see. That is really pretty, but I love wearing like bright colors like that in the spring and summer. So might not be something that I'll get a ton of use out of right away, but when I saw this for a buck, like these are at like Target, Walmart, those sort of places for like at least seven or eight bucks. So I was like, wow, okay, good deal. And they didn't have a lot of them. They had this one and like one other one. So I snagged that real quick. Okay, these next items I was really excited about. They were also fully stocked in the nail section, which you guys know, um, I do my nails myself at home most of the time. So I love to do, you know, at home nail. Like right now I just kind of have boring ones. There's no design on them, but if I have extra time, I like to do sort of designs and special little things. So I got these. 
They had these beautiful little pearls, which I thought could be really pretty, like maybe on a French. I could add them to the nail. And they also had this full set of all multicolored rhinestones. So a bunch of different colors of rhinestones. Obviously these could be used for craft projects or whatever. I just would use them for my nails and they were like in the nail section, but you could use them for a bunch of different things. But I got both of those. And then they had this little three pack of the applicators, which these make it a lot easier to apply them on. You could also do nail art with these if you wanted to do like little dots and stuff. They're helpful to have on hand and they do have um, different sized ones in here, which I thought was nice in this little three set. So if you do your nails at home, check out Dollar Tree because they really had a lot of stuff. They also had a ton of press on nails, a lot of nail polish, nail files, like all that sort of stuff and supplies. So definitely a good place to go if you're interested in like doing your nails at home or just want to get some like DIY sort of stuff. They had a lot. The pearls is what I was most excited about. I don't have anything like this. Like I've never done anything like that. And I feel like it'll look really pretty. So I'll keep you guys updated on when I use them, like how they work. Okay, I still have like so much makeup stuff to go. I really like went in. Cause you know what I wanna do is I wanna do another full face of um, Dollar Tree makeup. I didn't get any like foundation or concealer while I was there. I didn't see anything new, but when I see like new makeup that I haven't seen before, I like to grab it. So then I can kind of keep it all together to do a full face of Dollar Tree makeup of new stuff. Um, as it becomes available. So if you guys wanna see another full face of me testing out Dollar Tree makeup, I can definitely do that because I got some new stuff here that I hadn't seen before. This is a newer brand, or at least a newer brand to my Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen it before. It's called Starry. And they have this really pretty blush. This is in the shade four. Does it say the color? It's just, I think just four. That's the color, but let's open it and see because I thought this would be like a really pretty sort of berry color for the winter. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay. Definitely gonna put this to the side to try it. Also grab this. This was up in the front near the Valentine's Day stuff. So I'm not sure if it's limited edition, but it's another brand that I haven't tried yet from Dollar Tree. It's the Make Me Up is the name of the brand. And it was this little eyeshadow palette. It's just for warm neutrals, all mattes. So I thought like good little starter palette for maybe somebody who's just getting into makeup, doesn't have a ton of eyeshadow, or if you just want something easy to throw in your purse, that's a small little palette. Um, I thought this was cute. So I grabbed that, wanted to try that. And also wanted to try this little mini lip oil duo. This is from Be Pure. Um, that's the brand I've tried other stuff from their brand before at Dollar Tree and I have enjoyed it. So yeah, they have this little tinted lip oil set and this was up in the Valentine's Day section too. So I guess it could be like a Valentine's Day gift. They had this over by where they had the little heart um, beauty sponges. They had like a little Valentine's Day makeup, like beauty kind of section towards the front. So I thought this was cute. This also would have made like a cute stocking stuffer during the holidays, obviously. A little late for that now, but still. Cute. And then I also grabbed this from Sassy Chic. I've always wanted one of these and crazy enough, never had one. This is a shadow switching sponge. Um, if you've ever gotten your makeup done like professionally, which I've gotten done like maybe twice in my life, I'm acting like I've gotten it done so many times. Um, like literally did my own makeup for my wedding and stuff like that. But I have gotten it done like maybe twice by a professional makeup artist. And I feel like a lot of times they have these. So what it is, is a little sponge. If I can figure out how to open this thing. There we go, okay. So it's like a little sponge and is it wet? No, do you have to wet it? Hang on. No, it just says gently glide your eyeshadow brush over the black sponge in a circular motion to remove color and then move on to your next shade. I guess because it's kind of like a coarse sponge, it like removes the eyeshadow. So if you just are using like one fluffy blending brush, let's say for your crease, but you're building up the color and going in with different colors after you use the first color, you can kind of swirl your brush in here and then go in with the next color and not have that excess pigment or color from the first shadow you use still on the brush. It kind of works as like a quick clean almost or a quick detox of the brushes without actually having to like clean them with soap, water, a brush cleanser in between like each step you're doing on your eyes. It kind of just helps to like remove the color. Um, you could also obviously just use like a tissue or something like that, but for $1.25, I was like, okay, I'll try it because it's something a little different. And it does have like a rough texture to it. So I feel like that's what kind of removes the color. I definitely want to try this out and see how it works, but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I know I've seen people use like similar things to this before. I always thought that they were wet, like with makeup remover, but it's basically dry cleaning your brush. So then you can just go in with it immediately after instead of like waiting for it to dry, which makes sense. So kind of cool. Okay. This one's a little random, but I'm excited about this. So we're going on vacation in a couple months. Um, and I got this, I've always wanted to have one of these. It's like the waterproof case sort of thing for your phone. You'll see like kids with them. I feel like sometimes like around their neck, it comes with like a little lanyard, but you can basically put your phone in here and it'll protect it. If you're like wanting to bring your phone into the water, whether you're at like a water park or something like that, or just in the ocean or pool, whatever. I'm always so scared that my phone is going to get like damaged if I was to bring it into the pool or the ocean. But I also hate leaving my phone like unattended, like at my pool chair while I'm like away in the ocean or the pool. So it's kind of like, oh, you don't know what to do. So now I can just throw my phone in here and it's all good. So 
I always wanted to get one of these. And then I saw they had them at Dollar Tree and I was like, oh, perfect. So grabbed one of those. I'll probably have to end up going back and getting Steven one because I'm sure he's gonna want one too, but it's kind of big. We might be able to shove both of our bones in here. I don't know, we'll have to see, but I thought that was cool. I also grabbed this little personalized banner thing. We are having a bridal shower from one of my friends and I thought this was cool because it comes with these little things that you can stick on letters to. So like the foil letters are behind and you can write whatever you want. So you can write, you know, happy shower or bride, bride to be. Like, I don't know what exactly her and her mom are gonna want. So I thought this was cool because we could just make it whatever they want, but you could use this for anything. Like you could use it for a birthday, say happy birthday or whatever it is. So I thought that was cool. They have so many good, like affordable party things at Dollar Tree too. That's another thing. They have like a bunch of decorations and stuff for where if you were to go to like a party city or something, obviously it's gonna be a lot more money. So when I saw this, I just grabbed it and I can go back if they want like more stuff because they had a lot of cute things, but I didn't really know what the theme was yet. So I just grabbed this cause I figured we could make it say whatever they want. So thought that was cool. And then last but not least, I have two more beauty products. Like I said, I really went in on the beauty, but they had some new LA Colors products. So I got this lipstick. This is the Nude Glam Lipstick in the shade So Iconic. So it's just a nude. So let's open this and swatch it and see. I feel like I am gonna be due for another full face of Dollar Tree like very soon after this because we got so much makeup, but that looks really pretty. I'll go in and swatch. Ooh, and it's very creamy too. How pretty is that right there? Nice nude matte shade. And then I also got this little highlight from LA Colors. This is new. It says too cheeky highlighter. The shade is enchanted. Let's open it and see. When I actually first grabbed this, I thought it was a lip gloss. I thought I was getting like a golden sort of lip gloss. And then I realized it was a highlight. And I was like, oh, because I don't think I've ever tried a highlight from LA Colors. It's kind of like a lip gloss applicator. Let's put it right there. Let's see, blend it out a little bit. Oh, that is pretty. You see the highlight right there. Ooh, I feel like on the face, that's actually gonna be really, really pretty. I like it, okay. All right, you guys, so that was everything. Just kind of like an old school video, but I love Dollar Tree. You guys know that if you've watched my channel for a long time. Um, and if you guys wanna see an updated full face of Dollar Tree makeup video where I use some of these products and I'll get some more too, um, I can definitely do that. So let me know if you wanna see that in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.